sit back a little bit so you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sitting and I'm, anyways, I've been in class all day and I've had a lot of trouble with recordings lately. I've been recording whole lectures and then they don't actually show up on the website. So anyways, um, just bear with me, you know, it's all, there's always some kind of issue, something going on, but that's the nature of this class. So, um, Anyways, we need to go over the root words for this next section. So I want you guys to turn in your PowerPoint with me. Um, one of the things that I did for this is I actually, I, I printed them off, you can kind of see it, in like two big squares. So that made them easier for me to, to read. Um, I do think it's a great idea for you guys to do flashcards. I give my students time to do that in here. Um, so anyways, I do think... My students have been, and have been, I don't know, it's been helpful for them to actually do the flashcards. So, anyway, so let's go over this second set of root words. Uh, lapro is abdomen. So, I always remember this because I think of like my lap, even though that's your belly, you know, I don't know, it helps me to remember it. Anyway, so, lapro is abdomen. Um, if you've ever heard of anybody having an appendectomy, like a, their appendix, appendix removed, or if they had a gallbladder removed, they, a lot of times they'll do it laparoscopically. And that laparoscopically just means, uh, you know, it's an instrument that they use to go in through the belly or through the abdomen. Uh, latero is side. We've talked about that before. We've talked about bilateral, which is two sides. Mammo or masto. Uh, either one of those you'll see them used, and, and they both mean breast. Um, a couple of examples, mammogram. That's a kind of like a, well, it's a radiologic picture of the breast. That's a tool that they, a diagnostic tool that they use to diagnose breast cancer or tumors, um, whatever they may find in that tissue. And then masto, you'll typically hear it if they're, someone is going to have a breast removed, like if they found a tumor or something that they need to have the whole breast removed. That's called a mastectomy. So you'll hear both of those terms used. Uh, Milo is spinal cord or bone marrow, and I always remember this one because if you look at the next one, the next one is myo. Myo without the L means muscle, and I always remember that because I think you'll think my big old muscles, myo is muscle. Okay, Milo directly above that you can see is spinal cord or bone marrow, and you'll hear it used for either one. So I always remember that because I think about that my low with that big L and I think of that L looking like a spinal cord. So I know that that one is the spinal cord or bone marrow. My O, my big O muscles, that's muscle. My low with the L is spinal cord. Uh, naso is nose. Nephro or reno is kidney. Either one of those, and I always remember these. Reno, I don't, I don't have a really good way. Maybe you think urino, I don't know. Anyways, reno is, is kidney, but nephro, I always remember it because I think about that pH sound, that f sound, the f sound it kind of makes, and I think nephro goes with filtering, and your kidneys filter blood. That's one of the things that they do in your body. So nephro filters. Versus neuro, the next term you see on here, which is nerve. It doesn't have that F sound in it. Neuro, like a neurologist. That's a doctor that you go see about nerve problems or, or something going on in your brain. Osteo is bone. I typically have students think of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, osis at the end of a term is process. So it literally means process of, or uh, osteoporosis. You'll hear it used as process, or sometimes you'll hear it used as abnormal condition. So abnormal condition of the bone pores is what that means. And what happens in osteoporosis is the pores within the ends of the bone actually get more open, and so it makes the bones a lot more brittle because there's not as much structure there. Odo is ear, like an otoscope is that instrument that if you've ever been for an ear infection or something, the doctor uses to look in your ear. It's called an otoscope. So Odo is ear. Plegia is paralysis. So you've probably heard the word like paraplegic or quadriplegic. 
that's that's the same root word that you see here. Quad is four, so quadriplegic is, it means four extremities are paralyzed. Basically, para uh, typically is just a, a portion or a part. So, um, anyways, you can think of it that way. Pneumo is how that one is said. Remember, we said that if you have two consonants together, the first one is silent if it starts a word. So, pneumo, like pneumonia or uh, pneumothorax. I don't know. Pneumo means lung or air. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as breathing. Rhino means nose. Pretty easy to remember. So, you've got two that means nose, naso and rhino. Thoraco is chest. We talked about the thoracic spine. It coincides with the chest. Uh, we talked about the thoracic cavity. And a thoracic is the chest cavity. So thoraco is chest. Tracheo is the windpipe or the trachea. And you can feel your trachea, actually. Probably it's got rings. Um, kind of feel it in there. But that's your windpipe. That's the tube that goes from your throat to your lungs. Okay, so those are the new root words. You'll have a quiz over these in a couple days. So make sure you look at that. Make sure you study. I would suggest you make your flashcards so that you'll have something to study. Um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know.